Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, today I'm out here on the prowl again, looking for some more bow drill materials. Let's go back through the checklist of the things we need to consider when we find a specimen. You need to know how long it's been since it's rained. Here in upstate South Carolina, it's been 10 days since it's rained. And you need to know what the humidity is. Today it's 85% humidity which sounds bad, but uh, with a temperature of 60 degrees, it's not as bad. 85% humidity in 100 degree weather would be pretty bad. So it's really dew point that we're interested in, not really the humidity by itself. Um, are you familiar with the materials that you found with the species of tree? Do you know that this species is, good, is a good friction fire candidate? Uh, and then the moisture content. Be thinking about that. Is the specimen up off the ground? Is the bark off of it? Has it been exposed to the elements, to the sun and the wind? Um, how degraded is this piece of wood? And then the last thing you need to think about, does it have a long enough, straight enough spindle for me to use? So that's what we're looking for today. I think I've got some really old, really old Chinese privet. There's a bunch of Chinese privet growing all around it. And these really straight saplings coming up off the roots are typical of privet. Privet is, is awesome bow drill material. Let's see if we can get this long straight piece right here. Can you see it? Right there. And that is typical of the way that privet breaks too. Sort of breaking in half, about six or eight inches up the uh, main part of the branch. <laughs> Talk about highly degraded. We have it right here. Mine's got a crack in it. Let's cut off all this punky wood. Good night, I was not expecting that much punk wood. But I see where we need to cut the spindle out of this. Needs to be right here. Needs to be from here to right here. So this can be the hot end and this will be the pointy end right here. Let's turn that into our spindle. All right, on this one, it's square, but I have it tapered to the hot end, which I think will make the best use of the, the good part of the wood. I tried to save all of this original backside and do all my cutting from that crack side. Let's make it round now. Uh, there's a problem with this. Yeah, that can go in. There's a problem with this. Yeah, it can go into the fatwood bearing block, but it still has to hold together. It feels really solid, even though it's, you see how broken up and how many spaces are in there. Let's just make it and we'll go from there. If we have to make it shorter on this end, 
we'll do that. Let me show you how weak this bearing block end is right here. Not only does it have the crack, but it has some ant holes in there also, like carpenter ant holes. Gonna have to be very careful on the bearing block end. <laughs> there's those two carpenter ant holes and then worm holes throughout I'm looking forward to trying it out let's make a fireboard Beautiful grain and there's the crack in relation to the divot <laughs> let's go give it a try all right Chinese privet on Chinese privet that would burn block leaves for a tinder bundle and we'll fuel the fire with those shavings and a couple a couple of drops that came off also And as is typical with privet, very, very dark dust. And I'll shape that up. Doesn't need much. How did our bearing block end hold up? Looks pretty good. We use that divot right there. I'm not going to do anything to it. If it's going to hold up, that's great. If we have to stop in the middle of going for the ember and put another point on it, whatever it takes, that's what we'll do. That dust stuck to the top of the board. So there must be some moisture in this. That's what that squeaking indicated, and that's what that sticking dust indicates. Let me cut a notch, hold on. Looks pretty good. Let's go for the ember.
Big fat ember. Let's see how our barren block end did. Huh. The dust plugged those holes back up or else the fat wood did. So the end held up good. There's a huge ember. Gotta get down here where you can see it. That thing is coalesced really nice too. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's build the fire a little bit now. And I'll ease some of these shavings onto there. I won't dump it all at one time. All right, y'all. 10 days without any rain. This is our sixth new bow drill set um, privet if you can get your hands on some privet for bow drill you will be very happy it even makes great uh fireboards for hand drill so all right y'all appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one